Hi everyone, so I'm Quok, also known as Q. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain some tennis rules and how to keep score using this video game, Top Spin 4. Federer is gonna start it off, so pay attention to where he's standing. He's behind the baseline and to the right of the center mark. He has two tries to make it into the service box. Roddick can stand anywhere he wants to receive the ball. After the serve begins the point, the players hit the ball back and forth, making sure that the ball lands within the singles court. Ignore these doubles alleys for now. So as they hit forehands and backhands back and forth, the ball can only bounce once. But they also have the option of running up to the net and hitting the ball out of the air, which is called a volley. Any ball that lands and touches a line is actually considered good. Federer hits a winner and earns the first point, which we call 15. The server score is always said first, so it's read as 15 love. For the next point, Federer now goes to the left of the center line and gets two tries of service into the other surface box. Left, first serve. The ball skimmed over the top of the net and still landed in, so you simply redo the point. If a let happens in the middle of gameplay here, ignore it and play on. Roddick hits it into the net and loses the point. Federer now has 30. 30 love. Start paying attention to the scoreboard up here and notice how the server alternates between the left and the right of the center line after every point. Federer gets his first serve in and Roddick hits it out. 40 love. The point after 40 wins the game. Game Federer. Federer leads one game to love. Now that the first game's done, it's Roddick's turn to serve. Notice he's standing to the right and where his service box is. These two are not going to have any double faults. That's when you miss both serves and the point goes to your opponent. These guys are pros and it's a video game so you won't be hitting the ball like them here. Plus I sped up the video. 15 love. Now I don't think we've seen any volleys yet but we have seen some winners just like this one here. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. So with the score of fifteen forty, if Roger Federer wins the next point, he wins the game. That's why there's a notification that says this is a break point opportunity. Players that are serving are expected to win and hold their games. If they can't hold it, then they've been broken. Thirty forty. Even though Roddick won the last point, Federer still has another break point opportunity. And he takes that opportunity and wins the game. Federer leads two games to one. Now the players will continue playing until someone wins six games. Reaching six games results in winning that set of games. Winning two out of three sets wins the match, unless you're playing a grand slam where you have to win three out of five sets to win the match. You have to win by two. Let's go to the middle of a game where both players have 40, which we call deuce. Roddick just won the point, so now the score is advantage Roddick. If he wins the next point, he will win the game and break Roger Federer's serve. Since he lost the point, we go back to deuce. This process is repeated until someone can win two points in a row. Advantage Federer. Not only do you have to win each game by at least two points, 
but you also have to win a set by at least two games. Let's say they're both tied at five games each. If he holds his serve and wins the game, then the score now is 6-5. Though he's reached six games, he hasn't won by two, so it's Andy Roddick's turn to serve. If in this next game, Andy Roddick's serve is broken again, then the score would be 7-5, and Federer wins the set. However, if Roddick held his serve, then the score is 6-6, six, six, and we go into a tiebreaker, which I won't be explaining how to score now. <laughs> Most things in doubles are just like singles. The serving is the same, and the scorekeeping is the same. The first difference is that after the serve starts the point, you'll be using the whole doubles court. Also, all players must take a turn serving one server per game. Something I forgot to mention, you may not volley a service return, and touching the net with your racket or body is not allowed. The point would go to your opponent. Other things to keep in mind, pick up all of the balls in between points. You don't want to step on it and injure yourself or have it become a distraction to gameplay. Secondly, make sure the server has two balls with one in their pocket. That way, if they miss their first serve, they'll be ready to go for their second without messing up the rhythm of the game. If a neighbor's ball rolls into your court, you can stop play and restart the same point. And lastly, of course, be a good sport. Shake hands with your opponent no matter what the outcome, and of course enjoy yourselves out there.